Hey everybody, Mark Spector Comics and I'm back. This time I wanted to give you an update to the Comic Tom Top 10 list, uh, specifically on the Moon Knight 9.8 uh, record sale. If you want to find out the update, stay tuned for that intro. So welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you'll get it in a timely fashion. Like I said, this is the update to the Comic Tom 101 update to the top 10 list. More specifically, the number one book of that week, which was the record sale for the 9.8 as CGC copy, a direct edition. Um, so if you watched that video, you probably had some questions, some thoughts, um, you know, concerns about the video. Uh, ended up doing some, like I said, some investigative searching. Uh, when I saw the video, I was kind of like head scratching because um, I was looking on sales on eBay, Heritage, uh, multiple auction sites. And uh, I could not find that sale. That was the $1,700 sale, 38 bids that he uh, reported him in um, Gem Mint on the channel. So then I questioned it. I put the thumbnail on there. Is the, is the uh, top 10 list of fraud? Is uh, Comic Tom misreporting sales? Um, Etc. So I ended up getting some comments, some uh, messages, and uh, so forth. And uh, ended up even uh, reaching out to Comic Tom. He... Uh, also saw the video, he messaged me on IG. Uh, we both messaged each other back. Um, nothing crazy, you know, we, we talked a little bit back and forth about the sales and um, my one concern obviously was whether or not the sale was on Comic Link. And a few people commented that it, it could have potentially been on there. And um, he had posted on, on IG that day that um, the sale did come from Comic Link and it was verified and reported. So I ended up doing some further investigative research and I reached out to uh, Ross as well from Comic Link. He's one of the sales team managers there. And uh, he actually did verify the sale. The sale was correct. Um, it did come out to, I think it was $16.99 for a direct edition for Moon Knight 1. This was the CGC 9.8 copy, a non-newsstand copy. And uh, I think he said there was also a CBCS sale, which sold for way under, which I believe he did report that as well. And uh, I'll drop the um, actual image email that I got from Ross in the uh, video here, just to verify as well, because it's, it's good to you know, show that information. And uh, when I messaged Tom, you know, we talked back and forth. And, uh, you know, he mentioned that the thumbnail was a little bit too much. Um, I did get a few people that commented that as well, which is fine. You know, I respect the commenting, I, you know, I respect the uh, input. And uh, th there may have been some misinterpretation of the thumbnail. He took it as, you know, comic Tom as being a fraud um, that's not what the thumbnail is about um, I just said is the, the top 10 list of fraud so it's very easy to misinterpret that and I figured I probably would have gotten that in response and I got that from Tom as well so he he, he thought you know he took that as malintent you know putting his name as a fraud and you know that's not my intention if you consider Tom a fraud that's that's fine that's up to you um, that's not what the thumbnail was for. The, it was just me questioning whether or not the top 10 list was misre misreporting actual record sales when, um, you know, we couldn't view the sales. The, the sale wasn't reported on GPA, um, and I had that verified from a few people that have GPA that the sale wasn't on there. So that was another red flag for me as to questioning the sale, and it never hurts to question i always encourage people that you should always question otherwise you just assume everything's factual so it never hurts to question um and that's why i went through and, and did all these extra you know investigative um methods to try to find that specific sale you know i told tom as well 
it doesn't hurt to, uh, you know, report or provide, you know, information when it is a record sale. So like, for example, Comic Link does not report or not, not report, but like they don't really have a good database to actually review sales. And uh, I spoke to Ross as well at Comic Link and uh, they don't have any archives which honestly is, is kind of a, a shame on them. You know, an auction site as big as Comic Link should have an archive where they can pull a massive database of sales. Um, Heritage has one, Comic Connect has one, eBay has one, and uh, GPA obviously collects all that data. So for them not to have one is kind of uh, a big, I, I don't know what they're doing. Um, it's a great auction site, but you don't report uh, previous sales. Um, unless it's something to promote their site. So uh, I, I told them that in the, uh, on the messaging as well. Just be forefront and if, if it's a record sale from that site, just report it. You don't have to send a snapshot or anything. Just say you got it from there. And then, you know, it'll be, you know, more understood. And, and that's basically where this whole video came from is me questioning whether or not the sales were real because I could not find the sales. So um, hopefully that clarifies any misconceptions um, on the whole ordeal. Like I said, this was pretty fun for me because I got to do some investigative research and found out that the sale was legit. Honestly, I would never pay $1,700. I'm not including obviously the premiums that are that go with it. So you know, $1,700 plus another 20% on top of it is just just mind blowing that that book would, you know, some somebody would pay seventeen hundred dollars for it when that same week you could have went on eBay and bought it for a thousand. So that's a rookie mistake on that person's part and uh, they'll be regret regretting that purchase. But uh, so that was it. You know, hopefully there's no uh, hard feelings for uh, Anyone who took this video in the negative, you know, including Tom as well, you know, like I said, I had no hard feelings against Tom. I, I like watching his channel. I've been watching his channel for a long time, and I told him that. Um, so uh, hopefully that clears up everything. But until next time, Mark Spectre Comics, out.